If I had a dollar for every time somebody suggested I try the Paragon Sculpt Seam Leggings, I'd have like $67. That's like a tank and a half of gas. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For the first time ever, we are featuring the brand Paragon Fitwear. Now because this is the first time we're ever talking Paragon, this is going to be a full in-depth review of their Naked Original Sculpt Seam Legging. Now Paragon is known for their Sculpt Seam collection. There's quite a few pieces in this collection. We have the Curve Contour, the Reset Sculpt Seam, the Original Sculpt Seam, Sculpt Seam Short, Sculpt, sculpt scheme. <laughs> now, just looking at their website, it doesn't look like they have a crazy selection, but it does look like they pride themselves on sustainability, as they should. You actually see it all over their website. So automatically, I get really good vibes from this brand. I like what they're about. I like what they stand for. I'll have my measurements listed right over here, as well as the description box below. I'll also have each of these pieces linked as well. This way, you could take a closer look if you like. I really appreciate Paragon sending this set out my way. I wasn't expecting it, it was a really beautiful surprise. And they were also kind enough to give me a 10% off code for you. So if you use my code GATA at checkout, it saves you 10% and it also helps to support this channel as well. So thank you so much if you do. Always let me know so I can thank you. Now I have both of these in a size small. Starting with the leggings, I gotta mention to you what my first impression was when pulling these out of the package. These are so airy light, it's freaking insane. <laughs> It's just insane. I wasn't expecting that at all. These fit like a second skin, I kid you not. The stretch is, you got a 10 out of 10 stretch here. Obviously this is a very subtle legging. There's no contouring. This is solid. There's no movement, nothing. Very thin leggings, very thin. So overall, right off the bat, very low support. This isn't something I would necessarily work out in. The brushed fabric at the gym, mm, I don't know about that. Rubbing a weight on it, I wouldn't. It's their naked line, so I don't really think it's meant for that. This is giving me more like Buff Bunny Nubri or the Gymshark Whitney, the Batula Bear Warmth, like that that kind of vibe. And if you know me, I don't usually wear that style to the gym. I do feel like these are perfect for yoga and all day wear. Starting at the top, even though this is not a seamless legging and you do have seam placement, you do not have it at the top of the band. That's very important to me for all day wear because usually when you have a seam at the top, after hours and hours of wearing, you will get a little bit of a dig. These have a really soft, nice lay. The band is double lined. You can usually expect that overall for any type of legging. No front seam. You do have two seams going up the band on the side. A really beautiful curved V seam on the back. The glute seam really does the job in this one. They actually added a small elastic band here, right on the inside, the seam that's separating your cheeks. It's undetectable from the outside, but they kept it nice and concealed on the inside. This is what's gonna help bring it up into places you want it to be. The sculpt seam is actually patented. So that is their thing. It's literally like a reverse scrunch. Instead of the outside, it's on the inside and you don't feel it. It's not one of those scrunch bones where it's stiff or you feel it in between your cheeks. It's not tugging on the gusset. It feels like it's non-existent really, but it just gets the job done, no questions asked. This is a very comfortable legging. With that being said, because it is so ultra thin, it is sheer when I squat. But when you're standing and walking, these are totally fine, they're not sheer. It's just when getting down into a low squat. On the back is where you can find the printed logo. It looks like it's a silver logo, not a pure white. I do notice a little bit of cracking. When you look up close, the logo is cracked a little bit. This material will definitely pill if you don't treat it right. But it looks like they have a little side note next to the leggings that says, Reluna was engineered to be super soft, stretchy, and butt flattering. To achieve this, the fabric is brushed, which means it's most likely to pill. Pilling is normal over the lifetime of the garment. Now, I'm just letting you guys know that they make it loud and clear. The best way to avoid pilling, I say this all the time, is to wash it in cold water, period. Wash it cold every time. Don't ever let heat touch the legging and air dry it. Don't even mess around with the dryer, okay? If you have an active wear setting on the dryer, that's cool and all, but when it comes to a legging this delicate, I don't mess around because you can feel it. This will pill if you don't treat it right. This legging has a 25 inch inseam. It was okay on me for being five foot three. Wasn't dealing with anything crazy camel toe wise. I guess they designed this in a way to avoid it altogether because on the site it does say anti camel toe. Woo. When it comes to sweating, in case you are looking to work out in this or if it's just a hot day, 
and you're sweating it up. This does show sweat, even the black. If you look at the overlap, you can see it show through the legging. I do believe it's because it's so crazy thin. It does wick off the skin very well. It doesn't keep it laying on the skin, so it absorbs nicely, but do keep that in mind. Now, I didn't see cellulite showing through with this black legging, but they are thin, so I don't know how the other colors would hold up in that department. Now, I think my true size small is slightly big. I think if you're in between, definitely size down. I almost feel like I could get away with sizing down completely, but the size small is okay, it's working. Now these leggings are $50. Now that's pretty good in the grand scheme of leggings. We all know some leggings can get terribly expensive. <laughs> Lululemon. I think this is a fair price for what you're getting, especially because not only is the comfort level 10 out of 10, but I mean, it makes the glutes look pretty fire. So for all day wear, I mean, these are my traveling leggings. This I would classify as a basic, you know? If you need more basic capsule wardrobe types of styles, this would be classified as a go-to because there's no contoured movements, no crazy patterns and prints. It is so super straightforward that I feel like it can easily be an addition for anyone. Moving on to the sports bra, it seems like it's made out of the same material Material, at least the lining on top. So the sports bra is made out of the exact same material, the Reluna material. So it's just as buttery soft. I would give this sports bra an overall moderate support. You do have thin straps. They are not adjustable. I actually think the backside's pretty unique. Very comfortable overall. The one thing I do have to say is I would not suggest sizing down, even if you're in between. If you're in between size up, my true size small's okay. I do feel like the band is on the verge of being a little too tight. I can definitely feel it. That's what's giving the support to the bra. The band is actually pretty discreet. You can you can see it's on the inside lining, but you don't see the band on the outside. It looks like it's just one fluid material, no band breakup. It's when you flip it over, that's when you can see the heavy elastic band. This sports bra is going for $35. Last I checked the site, it's on sale for $19. I don't know if it's gonna be when this video goes live, but damn, 20 bucks, not bad. So overall thoughts, in between sizes, size up in the bra, size down in the leggings, especially if our measurements are similar. All right guys, so that's that. What are our thoughts? I had a really good first impression with this brand. I'm eager to try more of their gym friendly styles. So if you have any other suggestions on which sculpts seem to try next, let me know, please. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you in my next video.